Kaushi. I am assistant professor in LJ IT. Student, welcome to session number one of area and volume chapter. Student, in this particular session, I have explained about what is the area, what is the volume, and some introduction part. And I have covered a second topic is method of compute the area. So, student, first you know that you have studied a different type of survey. In a previous session, like plane table survey, theodolite survey, and tachometer survey. So after the all the survey, you know that our main goal is to find the area particular field and volume of particular field. So particular in this session, I will focus only area. And after four, after the session number four, I have covered the part of volume. So now discuss about the only area so you have focusing of the particularly topic of area so in a survey a different type of survey are conducted on a field like tachometer plane table theodolite so student particularly uh, this type of survey you have conducted on a field then next task is to find the area of particular field so now our main objective of the survey is compute the area and volume so one of the main objective of the surveying is to compute the area and volume. One of the primary object of land survey is to determine the area of the field. So this is a primary object of land survey. Land survey, you know that you have uh, construct the road, canal and uh, reservoir. So first you have primary object, first you have determined the area of the field. So how many, uh, means how do you have find the capacity of water, you have construct the highway so first you have find the area so you understanding the quantity of the all the material so first primary object is the find the area then in a civil engineering work student you know that a design of bridge dam reservoir a different type of uh, work are there in a particular civil engineering so you have find the area of catchment of river is required so you understanding the this particular subject or the uh, particularly this topic so in a civil engineering you know that design of bridge canal dam so you have find the all the type of uh, means this type of the designing work you have understanding the concept of area you know that i have given one example you have find the uh, uh, how many water you have stored in a reservoir so first you have find the area as well as the volume of this particular reservoir so this uh, particular this subject means this topic you have uh, very important now generally the land will be irregular shape you know that you have starting the work of any type of construction first land will be irregular shape means the uh, irregular shape in a polygon so there are some formula ready available for regular polygon like triangle square rectangle and other polygon you know that you have find the area of square so you know that find the area of rectangle so b into h uh, in a of triangle of area is one half b into h so this is a uh, this type of a uh, particular shape you have defined the particular formula and so easily to find the area but here the task is different field is different so determining the area of irregular polygon different method are used so when the field are very irregular shape, so the different method of the uh, area you have decided and you have find the area through the different type of method. So here particularly uh, you have find the irregular shape area boundary. So the, there are different type of method are used. So next our topic is method of compute the area. So there are two major method to use graphically method and instrument method. Next, in a graphically method, there are two methods from field dots and from plotted plot. You know that you have conduct the chain survey, tab survey, uh, compass survey. So you are making the field dots and after the uh, conduct the survey, you have going on a laboratory or class and you have find the area of the particular field. So you have, there are two methods, graphically method and instrument method. Uh, in a graphically method, first method is a field nodes and second is a from plotted plan. Now, the inner plotted plan, there are two types. One is the entire area and boundary area. So here, 
particular in this uh, subject, uh, particular in this chapter, you have focus on the boundary area as well as the instrument method. So you have find the area of boundary and you have find the area from instrument method. So there are two important uh, me method and you have foc uh, you uh, you have focusing of particular this method. So I uh, making the round point out so you have un clearly understand. So entire area in a not a syllabus you have find the boundary area as well as the and area from the instrument method. So now I have start the first in this particular session I have explained two method of boundary area. So there are four method of the boundary area but in this particular session I have covered uh, two method mid ordinate rule and average ordinate rule. So student first there are four method of boundary area mid ordinate, average ordinate, trapezoidal rule and Simpson rule. Now, here uh, there are three important points are there, so you are clearly understand, so please give attention. First point, if the plan is enclosed by straight boundary, the plan is enclosed by straight boundary, it can be subdivided into simple geometrical shape, such as a triangle, rectangle and trapezoid. Here, when enclose the boundaries in a straight, so you know that you have subdivided into simple geometrical shape like triangle, rectangle and trapezoid. You know that you have uh, understanding the, the uh, formula of rectangle, triangle and trapezoid. So you directly find the area of particular this type of straight boundary. But when the boundary are irregular, here boundary is a regular shape but when second condition is when the boundary area irregular they are replaced by short straight boundary and area is complete using the approximate method. Here clearly seen this is a boundary, boundary is an uneven irregular shape. So you have considered that this boundary is replaced by the short straight boundary and then find the particularly this particular field you have find the area. And third point is in case of boundary very irregular shape. Here, clearly seen the boundaries in a very irregular shape so you find the area through the instrument which is known as the planimeter so particular session number three or four i have explained about the planimeter but here particular in this session there are uh, miss this second point is very important so first point is not a syllabus you have already studied in a time 12 standard how to find the area from directly triangle and rectangle but now in this particular session you have find the area very uh, irregular shape you have considered that this type of shape repla replaced by the short straight boundary so we have find the area from this field now basic based on the second point important points of second here i have explained this is the irregular boundary area and consider the middle area in a short straight boundary now you have find easily the middle area like this consider assume that the, this area is rectangle so area is a v into h you have clearly seen but now find the boundary area so particularly find this type of area you have used the fourth rule four rule one is a mid ordinate average ordinate trapezoidal rule and simpson rule but Particularly in this session, I have covered mid ordinate method and as well as the average ordinate method. So now I will explain first method, mid ordinate. So you know that based on importance point of point of two, you have considered or replaced the irregular boundary in a short straight boundary. So depending upon the important points of two, I have explained the first rule, mid ordinate method. So student, this all the method, all the method to have find the boundary area. So, uh, method of measurement of area by offset from the baseline. So, student, you know that this is a particularly baseline, and you have uh, considered the uh, boundary in a short straight boundary. So now you have find the area, particular this field means this boundary. So how can you find? So I have simply. Uh, give the derivation of this particularly uh, mid-ordinate method equation. So first you have considered 
the O1, O2, O3, O4, O5 and O6 is the offset from the baseline. Baseline, length of the baseline is a L, capital L and O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6 is particularly, you have assumed that the offset. Now, this name is mid-ordinate because you have a uh, mid-ordinate method. So, you have, uh, you have considered the mid-ordinate. So, here H1, H2 and uh, up to the Hn equal to mid-ordinate. So, H1 equal to O1 plus O2 divided by 2. You have considered the formula of H1 is O1 plus O2 divided by 2. D is the common distance between the ordinates. You have considered the O1, O2, O3 ordinates as well as the offset. Now, O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6 is an offset. H1 is the mid ordinate. D is the common distance. And L is equal to length of the baseline. So now you find the formula of area from, from this method, mid ordinate method. So you know that area of plot equal to H1 into D plus H2 into D, similar that up to Hn into D. So D is common because in interval is the same interval you have considered. So D in bracket H1 plus H2 plus H3 up to Hn. So our main equation is area equal to common distance multiplied by the sum of the mid ordinate. So this is the basic equation of mid ordinate method for finding the boundary area. I will repeat this term. First you know that O1, O2, O3 is the offset or ordinates. D is the common distance interval. L equal to length of the baseline. Now you find the area. So, H1 into D plus H2 into D up to Hn into D. So, D is common and H1 plus H2 plus S3 up to Hn. So, area equal to common distance multiplied by the sum of the mid ordinate. Now, second rule is an average ordinate rule. Similar that O1, O2, O3, O5 to O6 is the ordinate or offset. D is the common uh, distance between the interval L is equal to length of the baseline so these are a second method to find out the plotted area or area so area equal to O1 plus O2 plus O3 means uh, summation of the all the ordinates divided by n plus 1 so what is the n so number of division and n plus 1 is equal to number of ordinates here number of ordinates you know that 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 but number of division is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 is a division but ordinates is a 6. So you have considered the n plus 1. So number of ordinates. So sum of the ordinate into length of the baseline. You know that divided by number of ordinates. Number of ordinates here 6. But number of division is a 5. Okay. So this is the equation of average ordinate method to find out the boundary area. Now, I give one example so you clearly understand depending upon this two rule. So, the following offset were taken from a chain line to an irregular boundary line and interval of 10 meter. Okay. So, interval is given 10 meter. Offset were taken from the chain line. This is a baseline or chain line and offset is given is a uh, interval of 10 meter. Offset are given. So, compute the area between the chain line, the irregular boundary line and offset by mid ordinate rule and average ordinate rule. You have find the area from these two methods. So, first step, you have draw the figure. Here, L is the length of baseline. D equal to 10 meter. Interval is given. Okay. First offset is 0. Second is 2.50. Third is a 3.50. Fourth is a 5. Then 4.60, 3.20 and last is given as 0. So first step you have to draw the figure. Now second, you know that first you have find the mid ordinate rule. So equation is area equal to common distance into sum of mid ordinate. So you have find the first sum of mid ordinate. So by first you have written the all the ordinate O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6 and O7. All ordinates are given. Then you will find the H1. So H1 you know that O1 plus O2 divided by 2. So O1 is a 0. O2 is a 2.50 divided by 2. Similarly you will find the H1. 
h1 equal to 1.25 meter answer will be then similar that you have find the h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 so after the finding the all the mid ordinate sim simple you have put the value on equation you know that common distance is 10 multiplied by sum of mid ordinate so you 1.25 plus 3.0 up to 1.60 and you have finally give the, uh, get the answer of required area so these are our boundary you have considered the straight irregular shape but you have considered the inner short straight boundary and you have find the uh, area from mid ordinate rule so you have using the equation is area equal to common distance is to sum of mid ordinate so, so first you have find the all the mid ordinate from equation O1 plus O2 divided by 2 similar that you have find the H2 so use the O2 plus O3 divided by 2 so find the all the mid ordinate and put the in an equation so you find the required area now second rule you know that the average ordinate rule here O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6, O7 is given D equal to 10 meter is given number of division is 6 so uh, here clearly seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 division but ordinates is 7 so here ordinates is 7 how to find the length here particularly uh, one interval means offset O1 to O2 is a distance 10 meter so number of division is 6 so our length is 60 meter so here L equal to you have considered the 60 meter I will repeat this term the student this is the most important please not do not mistake 10 into 7 7 is the number of ordinates here multiply by the uh, distance into particular division here division is a 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so you have multiplied by the uh, distance into 6 so 60 meter is a length of baseline number of ordinates is 7 so sum of the mid ordinate sorry sum of the ordinates so here you have first all the uh, put the value of the all the ordinates and then summation that into length of baseline is 60 divided by number of ordinates to 7 so our answer is 161.14 square meter so student this is the area is based on the average ordinate there are some difference here in required area is 188 point meter square and here 161.14 so answer will be different because method are different so here you have uh, taken the accurate answer is 161.14 square meter so this is the uh, particular uh, student in this session I will explain about the some introduction part of area and then I will explain about the boundary area and in this particular session student I will cover two methods mid ordinate method as well as the average ordinate method. So thank you so much for watching this video.